Hey guys, what's going on? Super Truck Tim here again. Hey, I wanted to share with you some information about pistol hunting. So, this is my HK USP40, and I've been hunting with this firearm for 20 plus years. I've taken a bear, two deer, and an antelope, and so I've got five confirmed large game uh, kills on it, and several countless squirrels and small game, small game critters uh, with this firearm uh, it's raised the bar very far over the years unfortunately it's a 40 cal and some states will that's too small to, to pistol hunt with uh, for for example I hunt in Hawaii it, they accept a 10 millimeter so everybody kept telling me oh go Glock go Glock if you're gonna go 10 millimeter go Glock so I bought the Glock uh, 10 millimeter long slide. This is the MOS 40 and I've had nothing but issue after issue after issue with this with this firearm guys it, it is I, Some people swear by Glock, but I've had terrible experiences with mine uh, I'm going to show you exactly what's been happening. Uh, I'm shooting eight inches high at 25 yards and it just gets worse the further out I go the trigger has been slowly degrading and so I took this uh, I took this weapon into Doug down at gun crafters he looked at it and he said yeah the only thing I can tell you is the slide has to be defective it's got to be in the slide and I'll tell you why guys because I have another barrel from lone wolf and we're gonna be doing some side-by-side -side comparisons Doug asked me to shoot off the beanbag and so I'm going to do all that. We're going to compare everything to make sure that I'm not out of my mind. <laughs> and then we're going to go from there. All right, guys. So I've switched from the 10 millimeter Glock barrel to the 40 cal aftermarket Alpha Wolf barrel from Lone Wolf and let's see if I can group in the same places. Here's another issue I have guys is some of these Glock magazines are uh, defective. Ugh, man, they just said uh, they won't chamber the first round. You uh, take the first cartridge out of there and it chambers just fine. Ridiculous though. If it says 13 rounds, you should have 13 rounds. This is the Lone Wolf 45, guys, and it's the uh, it's a it's a complete upper and barrel that you can buy from Lone Wolf. And as you guys can see, the 45 is just a little bit low. Here's those uh, three shots just right inside each other, and right up to here's a couple more 45s all right guys so uh i just got off the phone with super trucker bob and we were talking and uh i told him that the spring the recoil spring underneath the barrel on the glock was rubbing on the barrel of the 10 millimeter and the 40 that lone wolf 40 it wasn't rubbing quite as badly on the aftermarket uh, Lone Wolf barrel, but it was really rubbing, as you could tell from the picture, on that uh, 10 millimeter Glock barrel. So he suggested take the spring out of your 45, put it in that 10 millimeter, and let's see if that's the issue. It might be a faulty spring or the wrong spring. So that's what we're gonna do next, guys. All right, guys, so here's Bob's theory, is we've got this spring here, 
which is rubbing heavily on this barrel. So Bob's theory is if there's a possibility that this spring is faulty, we'll find out when I put this one in and see if the if that could possibly be the cause of the accuracy issue. Great call, Super Trucker Bobo. Now I'm only about uh, four, yeah, about four and a half inches high. That spring did make a difference. Okay, guys, here's a huge problem I have with Glock. Okay, look at the distance right here on the scope bridge. And then let's come over to the front. And as you can see, it is considerably different. Almost a quarter inch difference. That, that is terrible. And that is, uh, it's a scope bridge. And so that's off the accessory rail on the bottom underneath the barrel. Ridiculously different. Now, if you don't believe me, let me show you the difference. Here's my HK I've been shooting for years. Okay. Right on the red mark. Bam. HK actually cares about quality. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what's going on with Glock, guys. My experience with Glock, I am not happy so far. Because I'm a man of precision, and I'm just not getting that with Glock. You know, in fact, guys, the only reason I'm getting any performance out of my Glock here is this is a lone wolf upper. And it performs fabulously but uh i am not happy with glock at all and that's just been my experience with them guys i hope you've done better than i have hey guys i wish i would have thought <laughs> thought ahead and recorded my conversation with the glock warranty department um basically what it boils down to is i i showed them the pictures uh explained to them uh what kind of functionality issues i was having and pretty much the response I got was, well, that's that's natural to have the spring rubbing on the uh, on the barrel like that. Uh, we shouldn't throw it off at all. All of our guns are tested. There's no way it's shooting eight inches off. Uh, and if the recoil spring is bent, it's meant to be bent because it goes up at an angle. Okay, I've I've never had a handgun like that. You know, guys, I've shot Taurus's right out of the box, which is a lower end uh, handgun, and they shoot accurate. I even owned a High Point 45 that shot accurately out of the box. Uh, I've got SIGs, HK, everything I've ever shot was somewhat accurate and uh, dependable to be on, on target. Uh, and I've never seen a spring rub on a barrel like that before. Uh, the aftermarket uh, Lone Wolf upper that I have does not do that. And it shoots flawlessly. Uh, the one thing that they did say they might warranty is the accessory rail. It isn't supposed to be uh, bent like that. Uh, I'm suspecting after talking to Bob uh, that uh, perhaps when it was hung and still hot it uh, the mold, from the molding that it wasn't properly cared for. That's one theory. Um, man, I, I gotta tell you guys, uh, my, my first experience with Glock has been really disappointing. Uh, you know, I, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to handguns because I handgun hunt and I'm screwed right now because I'm going to have to put a bunch of money into this handgun in aftermarket parts to get it just up to par. Fortunately, I know the right people. But it really bothers me that I don't have the option to scope and bridge it. And I know a lot of people don't do that, but but I do. I, I do love doing that. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just really bummed out right now, guys. So that's been my experience with Glock. I, I'd like to say that it's been positive, but uh, it just has not been. All right, guys. Well, I've, I hope you guys have better luck with Glock than I did. <laughs> Thanks, and see you next time. So, some of you guys might be wondering why I'm shooting in this kind of weather, because this is the kind of weather I hunt in. This is Pacific Northwest weather, and uh, I have to know that these guns can uh, they can perform in this kind of weather, and that my eye can still shoot straight in this kind of nastiness. So. So this is this is why I practice in this kind of weather, guys. 
Hey guys, what's going on? Me and Max here again, and uh, we're heading up to the shooting area. I've been going back and forth with Glock on the phone about the groupings of my Model 41 and their, their solution, a taller front sight. We took a 4.1 uh, standard sight and we took that off of the Glock and the one Abe sent me from Georgia Glock is uh, the 4.9, you know, which is okay guys, because uh, I plan on uh, getting mostly a lot of custom aftermarket parts to solve this problem anyway, because I noticed I'd done more research on it. The guide rod is bent and it's forcing the uh, spring to rub very badly on the barrel so i got a replacement guide rod and spring system from lone wolf so we'll we'll be going back and forth and doing a little further testing today bummer guys look at that my target tree finally gave up and fell over with my steel target on it and what's this one that's a good sized chunk of lead that right, guys got some some culprits here it's like 10 millimeters guys I was gonna do some a multitude of other testing but the guy at Glock was right. His name was Abe. He was right. That solved the problem. That's 50 yards, and I, I'm i much closer. So, yeah, he the, he knew what he was talking about. Look at these groups, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're talking. Now I'm happy. Some of these are 75 yards that I just did. That is awesome, okay? I'm going to hand it to the to Abe at Glock, guys, because <laughs> uh, I was skeptical and I was going to talk smack, but he was a great guy on the phone. He was a real pleasure to talk to, and he obviously knew what he was talking about. He gave me the right sight, but I, I got to admit when somebody's right, and he knew when I told him the inches uh, that I was shooting high, he knew exactly what height I needed and sent it to me in the mail, and it solved the problem. So we're done here. <laughs> Nate got me right on the money, so I can't complain. Abe at Glock, thanks. Uh, your advice was awesome. You fixed my problem. I'm still going to use that uh, the upgraded uh, Lone Wolf uh, recoil spring because I don't like the rubbing on the barrel. But uh, but uh, Abe Abe at Glock really did get me on uh, what I needed. I feel a lot better about this Glock now, and I feel like I can hunt with it. So thanks, guys.